I will not stop doing this until the vaccine is in the field or I die. Over the last 16 years, without a real lab or funding, Tim Freedy has set himself the mission of developing a vaccine against some of the world's deadliest venomous snakes, using himself as a human guinea pig. Like Mamba. You can never ever have a bad day, and that's why my focus is so strong and so intense. Because if you have a bad day, do your math wrong, your injections are off, if you get bit, you're done, that's it. Two bites, nice. So it's an obsession that has cost him his marriage and could cost him his life. Me and the kids never came in first. Sometimes not even second. Everything's taken a backseat to it. I wish I was not selfish with it. Thanks for watching. Today, Tim plans to take consecutive bites from two deadly venomous snakes to prove the strength of his immune system. You have not put me under any any problems. It's everything I'm doing is on my own. I'm signing off on it. If I die, bury me. Piece of cake. Black mamba. <clears throat> PNG type in. You can already see them swelling. More blood than usual. I love it. I love it. I love it. Arms are killing me right now. I mean, it's it's a throbbing sensation. It's just boom, 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 boom. It has been 20 minutes since I've taken a black mama bite and a taipan bite back to back, and I feel great, minus the swelling, which is extreme. Right now, I'm the only person in the world that can do what you just saw. Um, I don't think there's anybody that's gonna meet a black bite and a taipan bite back to back, let alone either one of them. And I don't say that arrogantly, I say it confidently. At his home in Wisconsin, Tim has been injecting himself with controlled doses of venom over the last 16 years to build up an immunity to snake bites. He hopes his experiments in self-immunization will lead to the development of a vaccine and he's been sharing his results with a scientist who specializes in immunology. My relationship is with uh, Dr. Brian Hanley. I don't have a degree so it's nice to have somebody that does to represent the cause academia-wise. I tend to like people who get out and do something really hard against the odds. The more I found out, the more interesting he was. Here's a guy with a high school education who self-taught himself some pretty sophisticated immunology and molecular biology. It's as simple as this. If you're in Africa, whatever country you're in, let's say Mambas, and you take a controlled dose of venom through time, you dilute it down, and you work your way up to a certain amount of venom to create your titer level for antibodies, IgG, you can walk out of your hut, get bit, go back to work and not die. It's as simple as that. A good scientist doesn't argue with empirical results. Arguing with Tim's results, it's like arguing with the sky being blue. It needs work, but it's real, and it fits what we know about immunology. There's, there's no conflict there. Dr. Hanley and I hope we can take what I do and publish it and have other physicians, clinicians, take it out into the world to self-immunize other people in the old world. Anywhere in the world, the people die from snake bite. That's the number one goal. Doing it without elaborate funding, there are definitely limits to that. Things like this, you know, you work on it, you work on it, you work on it, you work on it, and then maybe the right people will see it and it will catch fire. You never know. I'd like to help him accomplish that. But Tim's experiments haven't been without great personal cost. One injection of monocled cobra venom caused necrosis in his leg, and he had to self-amputate the muscle. And that's not all. I made a big mistake back in 2011 and took two cobra bites. Took one fine, took another one, and flatlined ICU. Because it was so bad, it's really cool to be at this stage and beat that was a scary thing. Big mistake. But sometimes when you make those mistakes, you have to come back and get through them and do this. 
which was the best thing that ever happened. What's up, buddy? Perhaps the biggest cost has been the breakup of his marriage and the damage to his relationship with his family. You ever feel like, though, you pushed too hard? Oh, yeah, I pushed horribly hard. I pushed myself to death, literally. You also pushed your family away. I did. But that's three people versus millions and millions and millions and millions. I know you want to save lives, and I understand that. And I know that's your pr priority. I always wish, though, that we came before the snake. I wish it did, too. Despite the risks and what it's cost him, Tim doesn't plan on stopping. Everything will be worth it if we can develop the vaccine because people will be saved. And that's the reason I prove it, and that's the reason I do it.